Aloha, Patrick Franti here, principal at the Villa Group with Cobalt Banker Island Properties, bringing you the July market update. Um, so here we are coming into the last week in July. Um, I know all of you were planning on that August 1st opening date. I'm sure most of you have heard by now that that has been postponed now to September 1st. So we've got a whole nother month now of basically the whole state being shut down. Um, I know a lot of my clients that own vacation rentals have been calling. We've been talking about it. Um, you know, they are accepting comma and reservations right now, but obviously those are fairly few and far between. Um, you know, as of right now, it's a month to month situation and September one is now our date. So let's plan on that. Let's, you know, think positive. Hopefully that will be the date we open back up. Um, you know, some good news is our housing market right now, um, for a lot of sectors has actually been quite vibrant, quite active. The single family sector from our, you know, median price point up to, you know, the low million, million and a quarter to 1.3 range ish has been very active. A lot of activity with listings moving fairly quickly. Um, I think that reluctance for a lot of sellers to come to the market through this period has kept inventory extremely tight and with the rates the way they are right now, a lot of buyer interest. Um, so that's you know good sign for that sector. We are seeing some lagging indicators in the vacation rental area. Um, inventory for that you know entry level 500 and below vacation rental market has gone up significantly. We're up over 30% in inventory. Um, I think they're in Kihei right now, there's about 30, 31 active listings. We've only got eight pendings right now. If you were to look at that a year ago, there would have been like three actives. So, um, you know, so quite a bit of increase there. Um, hopefully it's temporary. We'll see how this shakes out. Um, you know, that being said, for those of you that are looking for potentially some better buys in the vacation rental arena, um, I have put some clients into some great deals the past couple months. So, um, you know, if you are on the buying side, it is a good time to be shopping. Um, you know, if you're considering selling right now, I've talked with quite a few clients that are kicking that around. Obviously, you know, no revenue going on five months now is difficult. Um, be happy to talk with you about that. Um, you know, it's not the ideal time to be selling a vacation rental, obviously, but if the circumstances warrant, um, you know, it may, may make sense. Um, Outside of that, you know, I think uh, overall market dynamics as far as housing goes are remaining quite strong, um, you know, except for vacation rentals, obviously, but moving forward, we anticipate that to continue, we anticipate most of that inventory to stay relatively tight, coupled with low interest rates, high buyer demand. I think our housing market is set to continue on the current path, um, which is quite good. So give you guys an update as soon as I have one on when we're gonna open back up. I know a lot of people are eager to come back out here. I will say it is pretty surreal past few months. You can go down, you know, walk down the middle of Front Street right now, not really a soul in sight. It's, uh, it's truly a unique time. You stand on Kanapali Beach, on Wailea Beach, right in front of all the hotels, no one around. So very unique. Um, Again, a lot of people out of work. We'd love to uh, open back up, get things moving here again. Everyone stay safe, stay healthy. If you are on Maui or in the islands, you know we've got a, got a hurricane headed this way this weekend. Hopefully it's going to miss us, you know, nine times out of ten. They go to the north or south and, and we, we see a little effect. Let's hope that's the case this time. Um, but always good to be prepared. So until next time, we'll talk to you soon. Have a safe and healthy weekend. Aloha.